so Tom progresses. Like you get into rap. Kind of tell us about that. I've always been into rap. Um, I started actually rapping or doing music at 11. But what, how I really started taking it serious, uh, buddy, from you know, is when I used to get high. You know, I used to, to uh, smoke weed with my partners and all of that. And we just, you know, kind of freestyle a little bit. And, you know, I wrote my first rap in like the... <laughs> sixth grade something like that you know what i'm saying so but i i i got shot in 1991 i got shot in the face oh shit what happened um shit i don't know really for real like i said no. <laughs> i don't know somebody tried to kill me and uh yeah, you, they shot me in the back of the, you basically the, in the back of the neck came on my face with a 12 gauge so i got a scar on my, on my right right cheek right now you know, um, but <laughs> he said, "Damn, yeah, gauge, but, but, yeah, yeah, with a twelve gauge." But uh, I, I forgot my point. I forgot where we was at before that. You made me laugh. What uh, were you talking about? Man, <laughs> oh, we were talking about um, how you got into the music. Oh yeah, so the so what happened is when I got shot, I didn't know who would put the hit on me. So I took that time off, and um, when I was healing up. And when I did it, my first little demo, and this was in 90, uh, what was this, 91, maybe, mm -hmm. two, somewhere up in there, you know, and not about 90, 91, and, and just, you know, start going from there, you know, put my first project out in 95, uh, look what the streets made, and, you know, I just, I always love music, I start playing around with the piano at 11 years old, you know. So, that's my first love, man, you know. Even now that I've gotten older, I'm not looking to come home and necessarily make a breakout comeback with, you know, holding the mic or rapping. It's just, I just love putting together music. So, I'm laying there to, you know, put together a, whole, a dynasty and, and, you know, make it push a whole nother no limit or, Cash money, Luke, and all of them, you know. But just out of our way, that was forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, can you can you talk so, um, like like who who were some notable artists that you got to work with while you were free? Um, shit, everybody from Scarface to the Clips to Slim Thug, Loki Kid, um, shit, man, Flip, um. Uh, you name it, Bun B, Yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, but I mean, those are just the ones that, that people may know of. But let let me take this opportunity to say some of the the, the best artists I worked with, like Six Deuce and Eldar from Genocide, and you know the hardheads, boys like that. They got for what they didn't really get they play like they should have. You know, them guys was tough. Cool MC stuff like that, you know. But yeah, I don't, I don't, I, I, I don't pretty much work with. I work with a lot of people, you know. Got a lot of records with a lot of people. Yeah. So how how did um kind of your collab with Scarface come about? And that's Money. legendary. Cash. <laughs> it's simple. Cash and, and um, street credit because one thing I say about Scarface, he just won't do a feature with anybody if you do your homework. The money won't necessarily back then. The money won't won't wouldn't get you through the door. Yeah. So Scarface called Bum B and asked him that he had he heard him. Bum B co-signed it, and you know, and Scarface got back at me like, yeah, cool, man, I take it twenty five thousand. He wouldn't, you know, before then he would take my twenty five thousand. Damn, twenty five thousand. Yeah, for a verse, and that and that was in oh five four oh four. Yeah, so you know, but that was that was hey, that was one of my idols, you know, growing up. The bucket list was Space and UGK, you yeah. know. So I had already did one with UGK back in like '97. So wow, man, it was an honor, honor to watch him work. I've never seen anything like it. Yeah, how, how did Today. how how was that? Listen, it comes with a story of his own. The man is truly a musical genius because my whole 
time going up there, you know, uh, I was like, I'm finna go pop face, you know, because anybody I get on a track with, I'm laying there to pop. That's just what it is. I want a good song at the end of the day. If you're on the track with me, I'm trying to pop. Right. So I said, I'm finna go pop face, and they ain't gonna have no choice but to say I'm the best out of Texas. So one of my partners, who you know, one of my real good partners, who's a Jack Boy, he had just hit a link. He pulled up and gave me ten bands. My partner Dirty. I'm like, oh, him and cousin Corey. I'm like, yeah, shit, man. I'm gonna go up and put mine with this and go and pop. So he's like, yeah, you can't fuck with face. I'm like, man, I'm a pop. And he's like, no, you can't fuck with face. You know. So, long story short, I go up there. Face is in a uh, in a warehouse. So you know, you know, I'm already a quarter meal strong anyway, you know, getting bricks, I'm doing me. So I'm like, I am not a chump. I don't know who you used to work with, but you got me standing over here in this corner waiting on you and shit, nigga, I'm gonna get back on this plane and burn a rubber. Right. So anyway, he get through practicing with his rock band. He playing a guitar now, mind you, in a rock band, Scarface. What? <laughs> yeah, so I'm look by me being a musician for real, I'm in awe. So, you know, my pride wants to leave because I think I'm that nigga and you ain't really paying me enough attention for this cash I'm gonna drop. But the, the musical side of me is like, damn, this nigga is actually playing a good time in a rock band. So, you know, so I, I, I'm stuck kind of, so I'm waving him out, you know. He get through and he come over there and he, you know, so we follow him to the studio. And then here's another thing that threw me off. He on the phone with the, uh, engineer, he tell the engineer, yeah, man, this ain't gonna take me 15, 20 minutes. So I look over at my manager, JT, I'm like, oh, this nigga's gonna try to give us a bullshit verse for 25? Hell no, nah. whoa, 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 you know. So right, I'm ready. Right, 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 right. So, you know, I'm like, oh, he gonna tell, he thinks I'm a regular nigga, you know he is. Right, right, right. So he think I'm a regular nigga, ain't a regular nigga, you know, 15, 20 minutes, me, that's what I do to nigga, so. Next thing you know, we get to the studio. This nigga, instead of him, you know, taking it all serious, he didn't brought a pit bull puppy with him. So he's sitting in the middle of the floor with the pit bull puppy grabbing his ears and shit, you know. I'm looking around like, oh man, this shit is crazy. So I got my key ruining my moment is what he's doing. Because I done brought my little video camera, because this is my bucket list. I'm checking my bucket list. So, hold on one second. Yeah, he, he, he ruining my moment. So I'm like, look. Hey man, do you mind if I play the first verse for you so you will know exactly where to go with the, the song face? And he was like, yeah, 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 play it. He went back to messing with the puppy. So that motherfucker come on with the violins. I'm twisted black. The hottest nigga out of the swag. If it's ever been a hustler, I gotta be that. Oh, that nigga jumped up off the floor and said, give me a pen. I told my manager, start recording right now, nigga. So he, <laughs> <laughs> what he did that, he listening to me now on this verse because it's playing. And he's staring me right in my face. That nigga just bust out and say, you the one. You the one. I don't know what he talking about, Kim Folk, but I just say, yeah, I'm the one. I'm the one. Man, so I go in there. I lay. Uh, he go in there. So he writing. He go lay his verse, right? But the whole time, I'm li I'm hearing what he writing on the court. So he go in and lay it, and it's cool. But I'm poppy right now. Face something to pop you. And, and so he, you know, one thing about the artist as rappers, you know when the nigga kind of got us on the verse, right? Because right. we started doing extra shit to the verse, right? So he, he in there making Neanderthal. I mean, I don't know what, what kind of noises. I don't want to say that, but some kind of gothic sounds. He, oh, all these words. <laughs> and, and, and then he, and then check this shit out. So then he had me and my manager come in. He said, I want y'all to clap at this part. So, so you know, this face telling you to clap. So she is, you know, clap. You know? Right, right, right. I said, all right, nigga, tell me when to clap. So I start clapping at this part. He, oh. So, so the whole time, now I start feeling a little bit bad. I'm like, damn, I done pop face. I got him doing all this shit in the booth, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, you know, let me take a little bit off my dog, you know. But it is what it is, because I'm tough in my mind. I'm, you know, I'm hard. So this is where <laughs> this is shit turn the corner, right? Right. So I sit back. I tell my manager, I say, look, check this out, JP. All that sucker shit he just did with the clapping and the 
the gothic shit, we gonna just mute that shit out, keep his regular vocals, and, you know, run with the verse, because it's cool. But, you know, I popped him, and, you know, we dap hands and shit. Me and my manager, we on the cool saying this. Yeah. Man, Face went to, went to that soundboard, homie, and he had played that shit all the way up. And started mixing in that clapping and that gothic shit. So that, oh, that shit was going around your head. He had it panning into it like it sounded like it's going in a circle. And the clap, man, that man face popped my ass so goddamn quick, I couldn't believe it. I said, man, this nigga popped me like a motherfucker, man. I couldn't wait to get home and write the second verse. So, Man, face got directly on my ass, man. Man is a genius. You know, I, mean, I would love to run it back right now, man, but I wasn't ready then. Yeah. 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 Well, you see, he's not really doing the music thing now. He's more in the politics. I don't know. Right. If, yeah, I don't know if you've been able to keep up, but he just ran for, uh, I, I, I believe it was a seat in the Texas House of Representatives or for Congress. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, I heard about him being into the politics. I didn't know where he was at or what he was doing, you know, uh, you know, as far as it, but, man. Yeah, yeah um, I, I believe... He may not be doing music, but can't follow trust the staff. Right, 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 that part. 